Oh, oh, oh. We'll find out. Woo! Yes! Yeah. Holy smokes. There he is! Woo! Digging him up! There he is. Oh! There he is. Woo! There you go. There he goes. Oh, that's a big turtle. It's a little windy out today, but we are here in uh, De Pere, Wisconsin, and we're going uh, we're going to tangle with some catfish. So I guess there's this. It's called the Seven Bridges from the mouth of the Fox River, um, coming out of Green Bay, south to uh, the De Pere Dam. There's seven bridges in between there, apparently, and they're. There's some awesome catfishing there. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try to fish some uh, big snags or some structure, um, some eddies, and uh, some of the bridge pylons. I guess the catfish like to hold tight to the bridge pylons and uh, wait to ambush their prey as it comes by. So we're gonna give it a shot today. <laughs> First spot here. We're at the uh, the mouth of the Fox River, so that's that's Green Bay right out there. And uh, ooh, that bird just nailed a fish right there. He's like looking. Oh no, he missed it. Yeah, now he's looking for it. Anyways, we're at the mouth of the Fox River. That's Green Bay, and this is a power plant. Oh, we got it. This is a power plant, and if you see right there, there's a little uh, drainage right there from the power plant, and there's warm water coming out of there. And there's a lot of current right in this area. So this is a pretty good spot for catfish to sit, ambush their prey. And uh, we're gonna give you the rundown on one of our rods we're using here real quick before we get it out there. Sorry for the, uh, the wind noise. It's pretty windy out here right now. So uh, Steven's gonna give you the rundown here. These are his catfish rods. Seven, six, tangling with catfish extreme rods, the blue ones, blue and black. We got those set up with the Okuma Classic reels. Okuma Classic CLX. Got it spooled with 80 pound Power Pro. We're pretty deep today. We're using six ounce no roll sinkers. And then we 
have a bead between the polymer knot and the sinker to protect the knot. Got a big old barrel swivel. And then for the leader, we got 50 pound big game Berkeley monofilament line. And that's snelled to an ADOT Gamakatsu circle hook. Whew, that's a mouthful. <laughs> You're gonna have to pause the video for that one. <laughs> and we're using cut bait. Cut bait. Cut bluegill. And uh, we don't have any bait clickers, but one key thing when you guys buy your catfish rods is make sure you have a white tip on it. So when you're catfishing at night, you can shine your light at it and you can see the tip really well. Otherwise you can't tell where your rods are. Whip it out there. Let it sink to the bottom. Once you feel it hit the bottom, you can reel a little bit of the slack line up just to tighten it up, make sure it's not snagged on anything. Put it in your rod holder, and then you let it sit. Midday update here, YouTube. It is currently one o'clock. We can't seem to keep the boat straight in the current. So every time we anchor and then we get our line set up, the boat will start tilting one way or the other. Then it pulls our lines and our whole setup's messed up. Uh, so uh, we're gonna head upstream to see if we can get out of the wind and maybe in a little bit more current so we can keep our boat straight in one direction so our lines stay nice and tight and we can see if there's any fish playing around with them down there. So that's where we're at. We gotta figure something out here. It just ain't right. Pelicans are doing well today. They're catching a lot of fish. We're not. We will be soon though. I'll uh... I'll let you guys know once we start slaying them. We're gonna stop and pick up some cut bait here. Oh, big sucker. Big sucker. Here's our new cut bait, big sucker. I think that's the biggest sucker I've ever seen. You okay there, buddy? Looks like you got. Oh, yeah. He for up. sure had something on him. We'll find out. See you guys at the next spot. We got an update for you guys here. We still haven't caught a single fish. So, we're getting bites over here though. We just moved over to the De Pere Dam, all the way up by the dam here. And we wanted to get in a little more current. And we found a little bit of current here. There's kind of a current seam right here. So we put our spread out on it. And since we've been here, within about 10, 15 minutes, we've gotten two bites and one snag. So, We'll probably give it another 15, 20 minutes. If we don't get anything, we're gonna figure something else out. Maybe troll some walleye. All right, guys, we tried uh, fishing bridge pylons, bridges, snags, holes, the dam, everything. Couldn't get a bite, couldn't get anything. So we're trying our last final tactic here. We're gonna drift the main river channel. It's about 20 feet deep. And uh, we're just going to drift it really slowly. We're not going to drag our baits, but we're going to have them just bouncing right above the bottom. So we got three rods off this side and three rods off this side. And that's what we're going to do is just kind of have our bait slowly bouncing right off the bottom. And hopefully we'll run into some flathead catfish or anything for that matter. But we're going to give it a try. I'll let you know what happens. All right, YouTube, we're stumped. 
We can't catch any catfish. So we're gonna flip a roll of electrical tape because we don't have anything else to flip. And this little thing means heads up and this side's heads down. So our two options are, so troll for salmon and walleye in the bay or troll for walleye and cast here. So heads up is salmon and the other side is walleye and cast here. Ready? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's cause there's bananas in the bowl. Oh, you shouldn't have brought those. <laughs> well, I guess we're going home, folks. I didn't even know that was an option. Yeah, that's kind of how our day is going right now. No. All right, let's do that again. Salmon and walleye it is. Thank you, Electrical Tape, for actually making a decision for us. Switch tactics over the walleye. Oh, 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 here, better get it. It's almost off. No, it's a walleye. Woo! Nice. <laughs> On the pink lemonade. Yeah, we weren't doing too well catfishing, so uh, we decided to switch to uh, trolling walleye with these crankbaits here. And, uh, Looks like Pink Lemonade did it for us. This is my hot bait. Even in uh, Lake Michigan and Milwaukee, this is the one I get a lot of brown trout and salmon on. So, can't complain with that. We got dinner at least. Well, we gotta check the regs first, but I think we got some dinner here, folks. All right, here it is, folks. We got a Green Bay walleye here for ya. 19 and a half. We got a fish on here, folks. Fish on. We got one of those clusters. <laughs> yes! Oh, there man, you go. Skunked. On the old uh, flicker shed. Yeah. Nice. We can go home now. Some nice wallies up here in Green Bay. We got a big one. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Big bait ball right there. That's what we're looking for. Yep. I'm guessing 16 and a half. Ah, oh, oh, 17. Oh, Woo! See you, buddy. Woo! <laughs> he gone. He gone. Well, you know what, guys? Since we're not catching any catfish, we're struggling to catch catfish at the pier. We're gonna go ahead and test the old theory of uh, cats rule and dogs drool. We're actually gonna head over to uh, Eureka, Wisconsin. We got a spot that we like to fish dogfish over there, so we're gonna turn the tables here, and instead of going for catfish, we're doing the complete opposite, and we're going for dogfish. So we're gonna head over to Eureka now. First, we'll hit up a few of our uh, catfish spots over in Eureka to see what's going on with the cats, but then we're gonna go tangle with the dogs a little later. I think uh, I think we're gonna do pretty good over there, so um, we'll keep you posted. All right, guys, we just launched. We're in Eureka, Wisconsin, and we're on the Fox River, and uh, we're going for channel cats and flatheads tonight. We just launched from over there. We'll hit you guys back up once we're at the spot getting set up. Number four. We got him. 
get in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's trying to get away. He, he's, he's put himself on shore. <laughs> what the? He beached himself just so he didn't get, get in our net. He knows what he's doing. I can try to get it. Oh! <laughs> I I bet you he's done that before to get away. This is a big one. Yeah, that's why he's so big. He's smart. <laughs> I seriously think he did that on purpose. Holy smokes! YouTube, do Google's do? Oh man, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, YouTube, do bluegills? beach themselves like that on the shore to get away from predators and then swim back and then flop back into the water because that bluegill just did it twice because he knew we were coming for him or did he just or was he just stupid or am I just stupid <laughs> Well guys, you know how it goes. The second your, your GoPro dies is the second you catch a fish. We just got a nice, nice little channel cat here. Just a little guy, we're just gonna let him go right out of the net. We're not even gonna, <laughs> not even gonna touch him. See ya buddy. What you doing over there? Oh, you know. Oh, oh. Oh, oh come on. I'm never going to get to sleep. It is 2.13. Oh. 2.13? 2 2.13. You're going to bed? I need another pillow. Oh, you can use that blue blanket. You can use that blue one. I'm never going to get to sleep. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh boy, a little foggy out here, YouTubes. But uh, we're gonna hit the hay. It's about 2.30 in the morning. And I got a, oh, we got him. Oh, he was almost hooked. Gosh dang it. Oh, time to wake up, folks. No. Oh. We had a we had a big one, eh? Huh? Oh. Wake up, I guess. Looks like Steven's got a fish on. Does it feel okay? Turtle? Baby flathead. Well that's neat. We got another one. It's about 6 a.m. <laughs> what you doing up there? Oh, there he is. Reel down at him. Oh, yes. Don't make me get up again. What do you think, YouTube? You think that thing's hooked yet? What? Oh! Who wants some turtle soup?
Oh, baby. <laughs> A little channel. Yeah. Like the smallest channel ever. Worth it. Oh, all right, YouTube. Sorry for uh, neglecting you so much, but it's been quite the adventure. I am sunburnt, tired. I've only got like four hours, eight hours of sleep the last two days. Uh, it's been windy, cold, everything in between. But we uh, survived the night last night. We brought our sleeping bags and slept in the boat. That was uh, that was interesting. Then we put the bells on the rods and they were ringing all night. And caught a couple little channel cats, small cat, uh, small flathead. That's about it. We finally uh, caught some bluegills this morning and now we got them all rigged up here. And we just started getting a few bites. So uh, we'll keep you posted if we get a big one on. Ooh, that one's getting a little bite. We just got a fish hit, and he's on. We'll take anything right now, you two. Oh, jeez. Oh, Holy cats. Well, that's encouraging. So tell me, sir, what'd you catch this on? Cut bluegill. Well, that sounds mighty juicy. Oh man, he's a yeller, yellow one. He's a yeller belly. Oh, he's got all sorts of fish in there. He's been eating. 20, six and a half. 26 and a half. Nice catch. Thanks. We got a fish on, folks. We got a turtle on, folks. Oh, shit. oh boy. That's oh, cool. that's what uh, that's what you get for fishing for cat heads, flat heads. <laughs> Should we keep it in here? That's trouble. That's trouble right there, folks. <laughs> oh. That's a big turtle. <laughs> oh, God, I can't hold it up. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can get the hook out. Oh, oh, sh <laughs> oh it oh. came off. Woo! All right. He was about to go for me there. Next. Pulled the turtle out of that snag. Well, I don't want to swim in here anymore. I was thinking about taking a dip earlier. Reel down on her, got her. Small one. See ya. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, all right, YouTube. We are switching our game up. We're frogging now. We want to have some fun frogging. This is definitely not the setup you want to be frogging with. But we don't have we don't have any of our other gear with us right now. Keep him out of the weeds. Keep him out. Holy. Got him. Pop her out. Look at that nice bass. Right on the top water frog. Doesn't get any more fun than that, folks. I'll tell you what. What do you think about this right here? Did you catch one of these yet? Huh? Here, good luck. There he is. Woo! Keep him up. Keep him up. You got a doggy. He had just said maybe we'll get some dogfish back here. One. A little more. There you go. 21. 21 incher. 
If you guys want to see some real dogfish, Robbie and Lee have been after them. Uh, check out Today's Angler. I'll leave their uh, channel link in the description below. They've been slaying these guys. Check them out. Oh, no burp. There you go. Jeez. <laughs> you ready? Get him out of there. Oh, we got another doggy. We're going to break the state record. Hey. I'll beat you, Lee and Robbie. Those oh. things will mess your bait up. Better measure that one. Oh! Oh, oh boy. 26 and a half? 26 and a half. 26 and a half pound dogfish. There! <laughs> Come on! Gotta keep them out of those weeds. Reel them in fast. That's why you need some heavy braided line. I don't have that heavy a braid on, but it's doing the job. There we go, folks. There we go. Thing. Woo! Yeah. Another nice little largy. Looks like the same one I just caught. There he is. There he is. Another dog. They like that bait. If you can't catch the catfish, catch the dogfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we switch from cats to dogs. <laughs> and another one. Check it out. Woo! Not a bad one. <sighs> I got 30 minutes to catch a dogfish. Think I can do it, YouTube? Oh. There he is. Oh. No 30 minutes needed. 30 seconds. Yeah. We got a doggy. First dogfish I've caught in a long time. Oh, these are such neat looking fish right here. Little snakehead, 21 inches. Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. So I learned on today's anglers channel that these fish can actually live out of water for long periods of time. Oh! Just got slapped in the face by that thing. I don't know why, I forgot the reasoning, but they can. Are you there? Holy crap. Pro! Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I lost my ear. Pro. There he is! Woo! Digging him up! Ah. Keep him! <laughs> Jesus! Woo! Oh, that one's sweet. We got 
got a big one. Look at the tail on that one. Ooh, we got some colors on this one. There he is, folks. Oh, yeah. All right. Just relax. I'm trying to free you now. Oh, oh no. Damn. <laughs> Keep him up. Good one? No, well, normal. Jeez. <laughs> Woo. Boating too many of them over here. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Jaw spreaders. Jaw spreaders. Pliers. Pliers. Surgery complete. High five. High five. Woo! <laughs> there he is. Coming in hot. Nice little dog fish. All in you. There he is. Woo! Oh, I want the double. I want the double. Woo! There you go. There he go. Woo! Cranking her in. What's this, number 20? A doggy. You got another doggy. Small one. Small doggy. You got a little ankle biter there, don't you? One of them little shit suits. Hmm. I think they like that white bellied frog. Oh. Whoo. Oh, he's missing an eyeball. Oh. No wonder I caught him. The one eyed Willie. No wonder why I missed the first swipe. Oh. Get ready for it. There he is. Oh, Horse him up. Horse him up. Ooh, nice. It's a big one, boys. Can I catch one? Another doggy. Oh, man, guys. What a last couple days. I am exhausted. I got so much sun. Uh, I drank too many energy drinks. Did not drink enough water. We didn't bring enough water out there with us. We were out there for 34 hours straight. We we're on the water for 34 hours straight. We left the boat for one hour when we were driving from Green Bay to uh, Eureka. Caught a lot of fish, had a great time. But uh, if you guys want to see more adventures like this, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. We got lots of great adventures planned. Still got lots of nice weather left. Um, we got some pretty cool stuff in store for fall, especially fall musky sucker fishing, trolling for musky, um, you know, the fall salmon runs. We're gonna have all sorts of great adventures. If I were you and you haven't already, I would smash that subscribe button. It's a good choice. Thank you guys for uh, staying tuned and hanging out with me. We'll see you next time. Peace.